Okay, great. So you should have personal information and make sure the file name is matching it. So personal for personal information, awards and awards, sample student work, sample, and academic information for academic. Um, and everything should be same. All right. So um, what I want to show you now is if you open that folder again, now what you should have is your Firefox documents, your HTML documents. If you're using XP, it'll actually say .html, but we're using Windows 7, so it's not showing up. Um, it just says Firefox document or Internet Explorer document or HTML document, whatever. Anyways, um, those should be there, and everything else should be in your images folder. So there's the, my picture, and there's my background, all right? and I got a couple other things in there. And that's what it should look like. Um, now, let's go and open this up in Firefox. All right, And if I refresh, see, look, now my bar is there, and I should be able to um, click on them. Now, if I click on personal information, see it says personal right here and personal information up here. Awards, awards and awards, it all matches up. Academic information, bam, not working. All right. I want to say I made this mistake on purpose, but I didn't, and I'll show you what the mistake is. If you look, I linked, it's trying to go to academic.html. And if I open that folder, I don't have I get academic.html. I have academic information.html. Not gonna work. All right, and that's because if I highlight academic information and I go to link, it's looking for academic.html. I have two options. I could go in here and choose academic information, hit OK, and then it's gonna work. But I'm telling you, don't do that. Look, it says percent twenty. It's that space thing I was telling you about. I don't want to do that. Instead, let's not change that. Let's change the name of the file. So academic information, I can go to rename and just change that to academic. And then all of them should work because that file now exists. It always existed, it was just named incorrectly. So if I refresh, even though it says file not found, it should find it then. And it's not, hold on, let's try this again. Hit a, academic information, still not working, academic.html. Oh, I know what it is. I spelled it wrong. What a noob. So make sure you spell things right. <laughs> Academic. Okay. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. I don't know. Whatever. Hit a refresh. Bam! It's there. Yay! And it should all now be working. So I can click on any of these and it goes there. And you don't really see any changes because there's nothing on these pages. And that's what we're going to look at now. So. Um, let's bring it up back in Composer here. And what I can do now is I'm going to start putting more stuff in. Now, you know, some people would maybe put another table inside this one. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Insert table and just one by one table inside here. And I can put all my stuff in here. Um, that just kind of helps me make, keeps things lined up with everything else that's on the screen. Again, table cell properties. I could have this be a different color. If I go to table, I could choose a background. I'm just going to turn the border off and put stuff in there okay so real big I'll say like you know s sample student work and you could say anything guys if you're selling to sell products or have information about yourself go ahead and do so and I can just highlight that again change the size whatever else okay and right here I'm gonna show you how to do th insert three different types of files okay uh, first let's do a picture Okay, um, so let's say I, I have in here, um, you know, Illustrator, um, you know, T-shirt design, all right, and I could like put a little, you know, description in there, all right, I created this, blah, 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 and I could just take this text and make it bigger, but uh, what I can do is highlight that and go to link and open file, and I want to go to images where it's actually at, and it says nothing there what's going on and that's because it's looking for HTML file but if I drop this down to all files it'll let me link anything so I'm going to check blue, click on blue crew hit open and hit OK and see now it's hyperlinked I don't know if I like these hyperlinks the way they are right because it's kinda hard to see so you could highlight that and let's see if we can just change the color let's say I wanted uh, something close to white if I did like a gray and that does work for now okay and if I, um, ooh, you know what? I'm on the wrong page. I want to take all this. I should have been on my sample student work, but I should be able to cut, cut this all out. Control X, go to sample student work, 
and paste it all in. All right. I did lose my table. You can make a new table, whatever you want to do. I'm going to hit save and let's go to Firefox and see if that actually works the same way. I'm going to refresh now. There it is. I click on it and bam, that's what it does. It brings up a picture. Um, it doesn't show the picture right here. Now I could put it in here, but I just click on it and it only shows the picture. So you can link a file like that. All right. Let's do another one. Let's say it's a Word document. Same thing. Maybe I'm going to say, um, um, I don't know, uh, essay and then you know, say something about the essay. And I'm going to highlight that. Again, I can make it larger, whatever. And I'm going to do link again. And open file. See, now it's in this images folder again. It's got to be there, guys. I'm telling you, you got to make sure everything's inside one folder. And then if I go to all files, I have this essay, Word document. Hit OK. OK. And then again, I can change the, the text color if, if I would like. If that gray, if that color isn't showing up very well for you. And uh, let's hit save. So that way, in Firefox again, if I refresh this, instead of opening a picture, if I click on it, it'll actually bring this up, opening essay.doc. Do I want to open with Microsoft Word? Yes, I do. And then it'll actually open up Word for you, which is great. And then the last one is just a hyperlink. How do you do just a hyperlink? We're not doing a file. Maybe I want it to go somewhere. So for example, let's say I have a project online. I created a program called in Scratch. So let's say I wanted to, to use this hyperlink it's, and it'll open up a new web page. So I'm going to copy that link. All right. And then in, oops, sorry, wrong page. Um, I could say, uh, um, you know, programming project or whatever else. And then description. And then I highlight that and make it larger. And you've seen this a million times now. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to link it too. And for that, instead of opening a file, I can just paste it. And it can actually just go to whatever website you want. All right. I hit OK. And there we go. So it should work out. If I save this and open it in Firefox one more time, refresh it here. See, I, and I click on Programming Project, and it should go to my Scratch website. Ugh. There you go. So that's about it. Uh, I think everything works correctly. And one other thing I just did, I just want to show you, you can actually put in flash files the same way. So when you click on it, it'll just bring open the .swf if you're using Firefox. So that works as well. Um, but you don't have to do that. It just depends. You know, so pretty much any file you can link to. If it can open up in Internet Explorer or Firefox, it will work. All right. Um, one last thing, you know, you have four pages. And people are like, well, what about saving? You know, I just, I forgot to do save as on this one. I, I got to make sure I'm saving it under academic now. So I'm going to save that one. Yes, I want to replace it. And inside that folder now, I can just delete that old academic information one. So, again, a big thing to stress, keep it all in that file. Keep things organized. So that way, if, what I can do is I can take this whole website folder, and then I'm able to take that website folder and then, you know, copy and paste it anywhere, and it should work. I can and put it up on lines once I'm ready to go. Uh, it's up to you. Um, and yeah, so once you got it all set, you should be all. If you actually want to put this online, you'd have to find an FTP to upload it and then uh, host on a website, but that's a different video. So, um, you know, good luck. And if you have any questions, just post them at the bottom. And um, good luck to you. Uh, one other thing, I, I just thought about this. You know, one other thing you can do is. You could also go to format, page type, page colors and backgrounds, and you can set all your custom colors. Maybe you want the normal text to be a certain color, your link color, for example. Maybe you want that to be like yellow or something like that. Um, maybe you want your visited link to be a certain color. That's up to you, all right? So like, that doesn't look very good, I don't think. But that's something you can think about, something you might want to change. Um, you know, you don't have to have your buttons set up like this. You can put them down the side, you can put them at the bottom or to the right or whatever else. It's up to you. Um, just kind of have fun with it. And, and again, hope, hope it works out for you, and good luck.